what it is. Okay, we're close to the Italian border. I'm in Italy. Italia, 250 meters. I'm so up in Italy's business right now. Okay, Italy. What you got? What you got, Italy? We've been driving for 20 minutes here. We're a little confused, Italy. Because we just came from Croatia and Slovenia. You, and you need to step up your game, Italy. You got a big hype. But seriously, all the infrastructure looks older. All the cars look older. All right then, they go. Um, okay. What were your toilets like? Like normal? Or did you I didn't even look. Up? I just said oh. urinals. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's up with Italy. It, it, there were no like, toilet seats. I guess I was squatty potties in Slovenia. Slovenia, but it was like in case that's what you were used to. And then there was right. still like another option. Um, and they were like all nice. This was like kind of like shittier. Uh -huh. And it was like water running down like while you went. That's yes, interesting because <laughs> I went up to a urinal and it was flushing the entire time. I was like yeah. getting in front and then I'm like, am I just not in the right zone? And I even kind of moved back and forth, but it just kept going the whole time. This is going to be great though, like going into the mountains and stuff. Here, I'll flip this around so you guys can see. just so that Tim, you and I don't forget. We woke up looking at the Adriatic Sea in a small village in Croatia. We drove into Slovenia and went to the Shakran Caves. However, the car drove by, so you probably can't even hear me pronouncing it wrong. And uh, now we're into Italy. So three countries in one day. Sounds crazy. But it was kind of like we drove from Indianapolis to Milwaukee. Does that sound right? Yeah. Did we drive that far? No, we Did were only in the car for like four or five it's hours. It's a perfect amount of time, yeah. Without having to do Chicago traffic and looking at mountains the whole way. I'm gonna go get comfy. Welcome to number one. This is my driftwood ceiling. Um, on any good tour, they would take you to the bathroom first, so we should do that. Welcome to the Italian marble bathroom. <laughs> Equipped with soap here. Yes, soap is a new amenity for us. Let's see, we also have a European hair dryer. Why is it European? Because we're in Europe. The European towel warmer. Oh, Tim is silently holding the camera and silently pointing at the um, bidet that he is stoked about. <laughs> oh, this is a, oh my gosh. That's the special bidet towel. Yeah. I don't know. And then is this special bidet soap? And then that's for like those things. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna have to read how to use a bidet. Hold on, you you wash your butthole and then you pat it dry with a towel. And then does another person use the towel? Because there's two and then there's one. How do you know when it's time to wash the bidet towels? <laughs> well, we haven't even checked out the best part. This is the real best part I was thinking about. So come with me. We're in Cortina, Italy. And these are the dolmens.
think Austria is just gonna hit us up for the bathroom. Area Servicio. Oh, the Plas Museum. I love the Plas Museum. Yes, I can go to the bathroom. I might have to buy a ticket to this museum at this rest stop. They tricked us. We thought it was parking, but they're like, they'll come to our museum. We're at a museum in the highway. I think it's a road museum. Let's go learn about this road. All right. Wait, it literally is just bathrooms. Maybe museum means something else in German or in Italian. <laughs> Wait. We're at the Austrian border. I'm not sure what country we're in right now. Italy, Austria, potato, potato. The bathroom stall was literally bigger than our Chicago apartment kitchen. I like There was a in. sliding door to the handicap stall. Yeah, I noticed yeah. too. Um, would, would pee there again, town on a town. Yeah, I would go back to the plus. There was even, did you know there's little flies in urinals? I, there were flies in the future urinals, just a little picture of them. Because guys try to like pee on the fly and it's the perfect spot to hit. Like the insect? Yeah. Why like is the it outline fly? of a fly. Because if you see a, <laughs> if you see a fly in a urinal, you're gonna pee on it to like wash it down the drain. But why not like a panda or something? Or a target? I don't know. Just nature. Like a bullseye. <laughs> I I don't know. I can't tell if you're bullshitting it. I'm not bullshitting. I'll go in there and take a picture if you don't believe me. <laughs> like in the states? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Great, now I have to go in there and take a picture. No, no, let's just go. Okay. I just never heard of that before. We just stopped. <laughs> so we finally got into Germany. Woo! All right. <laughs> he knocked it out. All right. <laughs> We're not sure if this is on the floor. Yeah, he just cheered the sheep really fast. <laughs> That's not something. Well. It's not unusual Killed. that Tim is the only person applauding anything, but... He's a master of his craft. And I don't think there's another way you would want to spend your stopover point on your nine-hour drive. If I had a donor right now, I'd be so happy. Let's go find a donor. Yeah. We found a McDonald's. Oh, so that I could go to the bathroom. But the girls' bathroom was closed, and so we... Tim snuck me into the men's bathroom. Oh, and there's a small little Oktoberfest in there. Oh. Right, yes. Hello, we're back in Nuremberg, Germany. We are about to head out to go get our Oktoberfest outfits for tomorrow. Oh!